Hey historians, welcome to Decoding the Test. As always, keep this in mind. This is not all that I would want you to know about this time period. Instead, this is an analysis of what past tests have focused on in this time period. If you want the higher level score, you would know all the details that you see here. However, if you want to focus in on what the test has featured in the past, it really boils down to four areas, immigration, American power, industry, and corruption. Today, we're gonna to take a look at immigration in the Gilded Age. And it really boils down to two areas. You need to know the cultural identification of the various immigrant groups, Irish, Eastern European, and Asian immigrants, and you kind of need to know that they were treated in a negative way overall and why. Those are the two things about immigration this test has focused on in the past. So here's an example. They're using a political cartoon. In this political cartoon, you see Uncle Sam standing at the gangway of a boat with stereotypical drawings of Asian immigrants and you see Americans on the dock saying, don't let them come in. The question is asking, what is this illustrating? Well, this is illustrating the negative attitude Americans had towards immigration. And if you look at the answer choices, the one that fits is C. Why was there such a negative attitude? Almost always, it's because there was a fear that immigrants would take jobs that would otherwise go to native-born Americans. That is the answer choice that fits in this question. There is another flip to the anti-immigrant sentiment, and that is questions of loyalty. There's always going to be questions of loyalty when it comes to immigrants coming into the United States in this time period what we call nativists or people who are very, very, very violently anti-immigrant, they would not only fear that immigrants were taking American jobs, they would also fear that immigrants were not going to be loyal to the United States. Instead, they were going to be loyal to wherever they came from, or, and this happens a lot with Irish immigrants, that they would be loyal to the head of the Catholic religion, the Pope, instead of to the United States. That was the fear. You would see one of these two fears expressed on the test. This particular question is expressing that fear that immigrants were going to take American jobs. Here is a simpler question on immigration. It says 19th century nativist organizations advocated what? The key here is nativist. You needed to know that nativists were the violently, often hysterically and fanatically anti-immigrant groups. So as you look through this, you would look through the answer choice. It actually mentions immigration, and there really is only one. It's the last answer choice. Promoting an ethnically homogeneous society through restrictions on immigration. There's a lot of words there that you may not quite understand. It's a very wordy answer, but it's the only answer that mentions immigration. And thus, it's the right answer. What it's actually saying is that nativists wanted basically all Americans to be similar have similar backgrounds, similar face, similar experiences. Um, and to enable that, they wanted to basically restrict immigration. That's kind of a common theme in American history. So that takes care of the negative attitude that faced immigrants as they came into the country. The other focus, as far as the Gilded Age goes, is you need to recognize the cultural characteristics of the three main groups. If you look at this one, what you need to know on this question was that Irish immigrants were predominantly Catholic. That is a big cultural identification marker. You also need to know that they're pretty much coming to this country because of the potato, potato famine in Ireland. Those two things are the big cultural identification points for the Irish. You would also need to know that Eastern European immigrants were facing religious persecution in their home countries. Uh, they were predominantly Jewish and facing violent 
persecution in Europe, you would need to know that Asian immigrants were coming predominantly into the West and finding jobs building the Transcontinental Railroad, among other things, but the Transcontinental Railroad is almost always the one that is mentioned. Those are the three cultural groups and the three kind of cultural markers that pop up on the test. This particular one is mentioning Irish immigration and is bringing up both the potato famine and their Catholic faith. And you would have to recognize that. This one is a little bit more vague. There is a box and it has escape from religious persecution, hope for freedom and equality, hope for better economic conditions, escape from political turmoil and war, and it's asking you what's the topic of discussion. Now, it's actually fairly vague. The answer is reasons for immigration to the United States. It's a pretty generalized, vague answer. This is why people immigrate. But if you're looking at it, you would also notice that this would also fit that Eastern European cultural identification markers, especially the escape from religious persecution. So if you saw it be more specific, you would be prepared for that. Those are the two areas that you see focused on on the test in the past. If you study these two areas, as I've pointed them out, you have a good chance of getting these questions right on the star. If there's no questions, comments, or screams of angst, I'll see you in the next video.